If you're running a web design agency or even freelancing, you probably have 10 different tools open just to get through the day. For me, Notion replaced almost all of them. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Notion to run my content creation pipeline and manage all my web design projects in just five minutes. Using this exact setup, I have posted over 500 videos on my channel and created over 300 web design projects without losing my mind or missing any deadlines. Also, I'll add all the templates you see in this video right in the pinned comment below. Just duplicate it and you're good to go. Let me walk you through how I have set it up. One of the first things I built in Notion was this simple proposal template and it saved me so much time. And right on top, I've got scope of work followed by some recent projects to show proof. Then there's a drag and drop timeline with clear milestones. I can set it to be something like discovery. This is set to design, then development, and finally launch. Again, you can customize it entirely how you want and adjust the duration based on the project. Below that is a full breakdown of the pricing for the project. So let's say digital marketing can be $500. UX design takes about $2,000 and hosting and maintenance is about $1,000. Then a total at the bottom, nice and simple. You can also add optional care plans to make a recurring revenue stream. And if you're pitching a care plan, I would seriously recommend you using WP Remote. This one plugin lets you offer a $500 care plan to your customers and provide services like instant backups, secure updates, client reports, proactive protection from malware and much more. So the client gets the best of the best. One pro tip is to add a quick terms and conditions section here. Just adding the basic works like a payment schedule or any revision policy. Once it's ready, I can hit share here, copy the link and send it to all my clients. And if they have any questions, they can just drop a comment right there on the doc. It's simple, it's fast, and it just works. After a proposal is approved, the project moves into my main pipeline. This is basically my entire overview with every client, every project, all at once. It's quite similar to my content pipeline, which I'll show you later. And I've got multiple columns set for each stage. And what's great is that each tile here is its own Notion page. So when I click into a project, I can see everything, the brief, Figma links, copy docs, feedback notes, meeting recordings, and even a checklist of what's left to do. It becomes a central hub for that client, and it's way better than switching between Slack, Google Drive, Trello, and email just to get a status update. If you're waiting on copy for the website, I'll just tag the writer inside the task. And if the dev has a question, they'll find full context right here instead of pinging me for links. I also use the same dashboard to keep an eye on what's moving and what's blocked. Just drag and drop to update the stage and everyone is on the same page. It's simple, but honestly, this one board saves me hours every week. As soon as the project moves to approved, I duplicate the onboarding page for the client and it makes the handoff super smooth. Right at the top, there's a quick welcome message and you can even add a loom video that explains what happens next. Below that, there's a checklist of everything we got ready for them, like logos, brand guidelines, or copy drafts. If the client is on a care plan or retainer, it will also include a section that explains what they're getting every month. Again, you can take this from the WP Remote Care Plan section that you saw earlier. And everything is in one page. They don't have to ask what's the next step, and I don't have to send the same email 10 times. Aside from client work, I also create a lot of YouTube content, and I plan all of it right here in Notion. This is the content calendar that I use. Every piece starts as an idea, then moves to scripting, then editing, then quality checks, and then published. Just like the project pipeline, it's all drag and drop. So yeah, that's how I run my entire web design and content projects inside Notion. It keeps things simple, it saves time, and it actually makes the work feel less overwhelming. If you want to try this setup, all the templates I showed you are linked in the pinned comment below. Just duplicate them into your Notion and make it your own. And if you want a deeper walkthrough on any of the sections, just drop a comment. Happy to share more.
Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.